Hello and thanks for joining me for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 10th of January. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever, I'll give you a broad overview before. Please stay with me. I will dive deep and go into each individual zodiac sign to give you in forensic detail what you can expect for the next seven days. Now, if you are new to my channel, I would be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Now, this week begins with an event which actually happened late last week, still very much to the fore. And that's a quarter moon between the sun and the moon. The moon on Sunday was in the sign of Aries, the sun in the sign of Capricorn. Aries is the first house, the first zodiac sign. It's very much to do with action and energy and impulse. And the moon in this location can be quite restless, whereas the sun in the sign of Capricorn is much more about how the established order works. So if we want to try something a bit more individual this week, we have to be mindful of how it will be received. Now also this week, from Monday through to Wednesday, the Sun is forging a beautiful link with Neptune. If you are someone who has a strong compassion for those who are less fortunate, this is really going to emphasise that part of your nature. This could see you uh, making a donation to a good cause, or perhaps doing something just in a practical way. You know, keeping an eye on an elderly neighbour, or perhaps if someone's got COVID, going and doing a bit of shopping for them, putting it on their doorstep, just to give them some assistance. The sun in the sign of Capricorn can be about status and more material gains. Neptune in Pisces is much more spiritual. So it's like trying to find a union between the two when they're in this sextile. But in the second half of this week, the Sun comes in to a conjunction with Pluto. Now by Sunday, this becomes absolutely exact. This is very much to do with transformations. Pluto is the planet of change, but it can also be the planet of endings. So if there's something in our situation that needs to make way, then this particular influence is going to call out to us. Now, it could be a, an old lifestyle approach. It may be a job that we're not enjoying very much. Perhaps it is that relationship which has seen better days and been bumping along the bottom. But that transformation that can go on between the Sun and Pluto can also be within ourselves. So we can change and our relationship to situations alter quite deeply. Now, of course, on Friday, Mercury finally goes into its retrograde. It's actually been in its pre-shadow period since the last three days of last year. So if something has been meandering along and not quite gaining the traction that you've been hoping for, this could explain it. But also this week, Mars is in an aggravating angle with Neptune. So Mars is very much about passion, action, desire. Neptune can dissolve. So sometimes our motives can be a bit unclear when these two are not communicating clearly. So with Mercury also in a retrograde in the sector of friendships and group associations and how we connect to others, I think it's going to be important if something or somebody seems a little bit different or not quite clear in where they're coming from, not to jump to a conclusion because the potential for uh, confusion is definitely there later in this week. But if we can stay clear-minded and clear in our actions, some kind of change can happen in our situations, which actually can be very positive, even if it doesn't feel like it at the time, which often can be the case with Pluto. Now, before I go on to tell you about each of the 12 zodiac signs, Year 2022 is with us. If you want to order your forecast and get my special package of your character analysis as well, from the time of the order, I will give you 12 full months plus 30% off. But all this is based on your unique birth data, not just your sun sign, and can give you searing insights of what you can expect in the months ahead, and also discover what makes you tick at a much deeper level. Please see the link beneath this video. 
Hello Virgo and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 10th of January. You may encounter somebody this week that seems a bit jealous or is a bit cloying in some way, limits your style, your freedom to act. And yet, if you have the right connections with people this week, they can be glorious with the sun in such a beautiful alliance with Neptune. But with Mars, the planet of desire, in a very tender and potentially defensive part of your situation, and in a square with Neptune, wires can get crossed. And with your ruler, Mercury, going into a retrograde on Friday, the details of situations, which are often uh, have a, a rare gift for in terms of marshalling information precisely. Something could get snagged up, something could seem a little bit unclear. But there is the chance for you with the Sun coming into a conjunction with, with Pluto to also grow and change. We can often think of the Sun as being our inner drive, at the core of all our beings, and Pluto as being potentially destructive. I think this change for you can be about how you're expressing yourself. If you feel that there's more to come from you, creatively, for example, affectionately, romantically, the co combination between these two is a chance to change deep within yourself. So although the physical changes of the Sun and Pluto around us can in some ways be beyond our control, we do have a choice to look at what we can alter. And that's something that I think you will be considering this week. But just watch out for that person who may have the green-eyed monster. And that could be a little bit frustrating for you.